Movie notes on Red Eye 2005 film, 5 September 2024 viewing. And this is as light as the lighting will go up. So if you're wondering if it's going to get any brighter, it's about, it's about all I got for you right now. Uh, I'm Tess Corley, Leonardo, she, her, her, just, yeah, this is another one of my DVDs, this is from my DVD collection, it's a blockbuster copy, and let's see, the description I came up for for this viewing is it's a fiction film about a woman heading back to her dad's house when a man in the aisle seat next to her on an airplane threatens her if she does not assist him in an attack on hotel guests at the hotel where she is employed, so essentially she's employed at this hotel and then is going back to visit her dad and on the plane she gets a window seat and there's a guy who kind of threatens her now interestingly she meets the guy before she gets on the plane she uh decides she wants to have a, she sees this guy at a bar and he's he there's an open seat next to him and she's kind of eyeing the guy like hmm, maybe i want to have a drink with that guy and so she ends up sitting down and being very forward and being like hey is this seat taken can i sit next to you so she flirts with him a bit and then gets on the airplane and guess who's sitting next to her? Did he change his ticket to be sitting next to her? Did she change her ticket to be sitting next to him? Anyway, so what starts off with her hopes and dreams being potentially romantic turns into this guy being like, hey, can you use your professional contacts to set up like, essentially he's trying to kill this person in his family. So um, yeah, so, so it turns from, you know, hope, for the man of her dreams to like, how do I get the hell out of here, right? Um, so yeah, so in that sense, it's, a, it's it's classified as a thriller and horror movies are supposed to be like very fear inducing and like flood, full of blood and gore and that kind of stuff. And thrillers, I gotta say, this is one of those movies where I'm like, when I was growing up, I watched a lot of movies like from Blockbuster or from the library or on DVD, VHS, Laserdisc, or it, on TV and that kind of stuff. And I have to say, I was like, I really loved the genre thriller because it tended to be not a song. Right? This is, uh, it's it's about something that's like, kind of like heart beating, right? Fast, but not a lot of like blood and gore. And this really does that I mean, in a spectacular job of like, yeah, I am frightened. And from then on, after seeing this movie and being able to have a say in where I got to sit on the airplanes, I was like, I'll see, please. Right? <laughs> Not that that would help any, but like that has it, has, it drastically impacted my, I would say there's a good 10 years of my life where I chose plane flights uh, based on because of this movie and it frightened me so much. I have not been on an airplane in over five years, so has not applied, but uh, of recent. Um, but yeah, I, I did start to work past it at one, like before then where I was like, you know what? Maybe it's okay to get a window seat. I'm gonna work through my fears that came from this movie. Um, but there was like, a, it had a substantial impact on my flying. Now, some people and myself included, when this came out and we saw it, I was unfamiliar with the term red eye. Like, what the heck does that even mean? And so like, I asked my dad, he's like, oh, it means you fly overnight. And I was like, I, I have no idea how you get red eye from that definition. And red eye, I think it's supposed to be like, um, essentially you're, you, you get on a plane and you're flying at night and you think you're gonna fall asleep, but then you don't. And so your eyes are all bloodshot and red in the morning because you didn't get any sleep and you had to fly all the way through the night and keep going in the morning, right? And once you're off the plane. So that's where the term comes from, red eye. And it's, it's, it's a, a overnight flight, essentially. And I, growing up, I didn't, we didn't really fly red eye. So, but this is one when I lived in, so when I moved to Africa and back from Africa, long flights, um, multi-day flights kind of thing, I don't know, 24 hours plus. But uh, in when I lived in Hawaii, I think I did more red-eye flights. So it was something that in my approximately eight years I spent living outside of Washington State, 
I did a number of red eye lights. Yes. So but it, it was something I became more familiar with in my adult years than in my when I was being raised. My parents did a good job of making sure that my sister and I and themselves also got good sleep. They were good parents in that sense. In other senses as well, but in terms of flying, making sure not to get red eye flights or avoiding them as much as we could, they did a very good job of that. Um, so yes. Is there anything else? It's, it's a, it's a, it's a good, I, it's an hour and 25 minutes with including credits and stuff. And I'm like, it's perfect. It's like a short flight. Right? Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't ever really, it doesn't drop pace at any point to where it's like dragging. It's a really good clip throughout. So it does a good job of that. So this is my movie notes on Red Eye 2005 film, 5 September 2024 viewing, and I'm Tannis Cora Lee Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle. And thank you for joining me. And Karma says, thank you for joining us.